So it took me a minute to get around making this video because I got shit to do, man. But. My Chiefs beat the fucking, my Raiders beat the Chiefs this Sunday. We handle business. It's three to two. We're going to the bye week. And nothing has been settled. We got to see the Chiefs again in November. We got to see your Falcons. Um, we got to see the Chargers. We got a nice young quarterback, Justin Herbert. So for the Raiders, ain't shit sweet. Um, before the season started, I predicted we would go 12 and four, go to the playoffs. And I had us 12 and four and a wild card because I still thought the Chiefs would win the division. Um, I still think that, but I'll take it however we can get it. But y'all know what y'all came when y'all clicked on this damn video, which y'all wanted to see me talk about, man. You can go back. I've been saying fire Dan Quinn so long. Look at me. I'm in great shape now. I've been saying fire Dan Quinn so long. I was fucking fat back when I started saying. I was looking like EDP 445 when I was saying fire Dan Quinn. I was saying it the season before that. I really was saying it after the Super Bowl. I definitely was saying it. But after last year, that's when I jumped off the bandwagon. When they said they was bringing him back. And I was like, I can't do it no more. So they came back, wasted another season with this nigga Dan Quinn. Ain't nothing changed from when I was saying fire this motherfucker a year and a half ago. He the same ass coach. <laughs> and you look now at the team that's in shambles, man. You look at Julio. Does he have 10 catches on this season yet? I'm not even asking that sarcastically. Has he caught 10 balls this year? Has he started in all? Man, Matt Ryan, who I never was a big fan of. I never thought he was clutch, but I always thought he was good. If not great, but he was never clutch. But now he's not even good or great. He's, you know what he is? I hate to say this, man. People in Atlanta don't want to hear this shit. Ryan is overrated because of the fact of how Vic left. And because of how Vic was, his practice habits, how he left the city of Atlanta in, in handcuffs. And because of what Ryan did with that, he's overrated now because he should get his credit. He did help turn his franchise around when after Vic went to jail and the Chris McRedmond season and all that, and niggas thought, you know, oh my God, will they ever be good again? Will we ever get back to an NFC Championship game? And to give Matt Ryan credit, he was part of that. But he peaked, and that's my problem with Matt Ryan. Y'all overrate him because, and this is what you see a lot of time online, he's the greatest Falcons quarterback ever. That's cool, but being the greatest Falcons quarterback ever just don't mean you the greatest. You know what I'm saying? It just means it's a low bar. So it's like props to him for the shit he did, but Matt Ryan got to go. If y'all want to fuck a future, he should be the guy that he's like a bridge quarterback at this point. Y'all draft the guy, have him sit on the bench until he got to go in and start or whatever. And you know, the, and if you was a smart franchise, let's just be like you looking at they fire Thomas Dimitrov because he needed to go too. Let's just be smart about things and you a smart franchise. Let's pretend Matt Ryan was the same age he is, old as hell. Let's pretend he was playing at Pat Mahomes level right now. Tim Matt Ryan was throwing five touchdowns and no interceptions a game. Four touchdowns, no interceptions a game. And was, that was actually winning, not just in garbage time. Okay. At his age, a smart team is going to have already a backup in the waiting. A smart team is already going to have a guy they drafted or a free agent guy, the next guy on the bench in case something happened to that guy. So it's like, even if everything was hitting on all cylinders and Matt Ryan was playing like a, like the Hall of Famer y'all wanted him to be and Julio was healthy, you still gambling. This is showing lack of preparation. You know what I'm saying? You still gambling on, man. We better hope everything go right. We better hope nobody get hurt. So I feel bad they had to wait this long to fire that motherfucker. And the worst part is, I'm like, somebody in my comments a couple weeks ago, he said, uh, if the fight Falcons fire Dan Quinn, will you jump back on the bandwagon? Nah, I'm not that type of fan. I'm a Raiders fan. I'm going to rock with the Raiders, but, um, and nah. But with that said, dude who asked me that, 
Let me tell you another reason I'm not jumping back on the bandwagon. Because I know that it goes deeper than Dan Quinn. It's the Falcons are... I don't even want to say what I want to say, but it's like, bro, it's deeper than Dan Quinn. Because I'm going to tell you, just when you get your hopes up, you're like, yes, they done fired this motherfucker. You know what they're going to do. Falcons announced Bill O'Brien as head coach and GM. Some old bullshit. Maybe not that exactly, but it's going to be some shit to disappoint you worse than that you're going to be like, man, bring Dan Quinn back. <laughs> bring, please bring Dan Quinn back. Why the fuck would y'all go hire Adam Gase? So they gonna do some real fuck shit anyway. The same way how it's like right now. Ooh, mm, zero and five. You primed for that. Ooh, in that race for the top number for the number one pick. It's a race between the Giants, the Jets, and the Falcons right now. But those New York teams. See, them New York teams. They gonna make sure they end up in that in that top one or two pick. Both of them. It's gonna be the Jets or the Giants at one, and the Jets or the Giants at two. But the Falcons, mm-mm-mm. about week 11, week 12, week 10, y'all going to have pride. Y'all want to have pride at the wrong time. Y'all don't want to have pride in week one when everybody all hyped up to wear them new ugly-ass jerseys y'all got. Y'all want to have pride when everybody threw their jerseys in the trash like Stephen A. Smith. And then they want to have pride when the other team is already resting on their ass because they done locked up a playoff seat. Y'all niggas want to have pride in the fourth quarter of games when you down and rally and come back and make it look like you didn't lose as bad. They want to have pride in playing it close. They want to have pride in going up big in the first half, but they don't have pride in finishing games. And that's their problem. And so Dan Quinn was part of that, but... Sell the team. That's when I get back on the bandwagon. When it's a new football franchise in Atlanta, sell the team. Sell the team. Sell the team. The Jacksonville Falcons. That's what they need to do. And then the Jaguars can be the London Jaguars, which they owner been wanting to do anyway for like five years. London Jaguars, Jacksonville Falcons, Atlanta Stripper Poles. I'm rooting for the Atlanta Stripper Poles. The Atlanta, the Atlanta Road Ragers. You know what I'm saying? The Atlanta Russian Creams. You know what I'm saying? The Atlanta phone posits. You know what I'm saying? I'm rooting for them. You know what I'm saying? The Atlanta Chargers. I don't know. The Atlanta Challengers. You know what I'm saying? Atlanta Felines. The Atlanta Glock Extendos. <laughs> I don't know, man, but not the Falcons. They done. I was at work today. We was on a Zoom meeting and somebody said, what? Did somebody say go Falcons? Like, oh, somebody thought they heard somebody say go Falcons. And the sad part is everybody started laughing. Me too. <laughs> I said, ah, we all knew nobody said go Falcons. Nope, 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 nope. Skip. 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 Skip, skip, skip. Nope, 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 nope. Move out. We done. And I'm out. Raider Nation, stand up, bitch.